that you just saw in my intro. I am currently working on a birthday outfit to go along with. By the way, for those of you who don't know, I am a fashion designer. Um, I own two store. I I own several businesses, but I own two clothing stores. One is my personal brand. I'll insert the handle here if you would like to check out some of my custom design staples. But yes, this maxi skirt will be paired with this corset that I made yesterday. By the time you all see this video, I'm pretty sure I'll be using the actual clips from my birthday. If you all would like to see how I created this corset, get this video to 100 likes and comment down below a corset with a heart emoji. I think I'm going to show you all three different ways you can make a corset beginner style because corsets, whew, no joke, they are literally artwork. Now without further ado, let's get right into this video. Here I'll be showing you the tools and materials you'll need to achieve this style. First and foremost, you'll need to use stretchy fabric to do the method that I am doing. I have not tried doing this maxi skirt with any fabric that does not have stretch, so I'm not sure the look you'll have using non-stretchy fabric. The following materials you'll need are the stretchy fabric of your choice, your fabric ruler, your fabric weights, pencils, the pearl head sewing pens, your pattern ruler, if necessary, a rotary cutter, your fabric scissors, and last but not least, the threads of your color choice. Start off by getting the measurement of your waist. I know here I'm getting the measurement of my upper hip, I realized off camera and went back and got the correct measurement. If you want it to sit on your upper hip, that's fine. But if you want to do this style exactly how I'm doing it, which is high waist, you're gonna wanna get the measurement of your waist. For the fabric I am choosing to use, which is inventory from my brand. Um, by the way, I won't be linking this fabric in my description box because you literally need a business license to purchase this fabric and it is sewed at a minimum quantity but I'll be happy to suggest where you can find similar fabrics online in my description box below but yes because I do not want to serge my slit I am going to take my rotary cutter and try to cut a straight line um, so that my slit can have a raw look if that makes sense. After you finish cutting out your fabric, you're going to want to fit it on you just so you can determine if you're satisfied with how everything is coming along. If you're satisfied and you feel like you don't need to make any additional alterations, you're going to take your pencil and mark where you want your slit to start and finish as I am doing so in this clip shown. Now I'll be sewing the edges using my serger machine. If you do not own a serger, that is fine. What you can do instead is literally fold the edges like so, take an iron, iron it to make sure it's flat and use your regular sewing machine and just sew a straight line. Perfectly fine. You don't have to use a surgeon machine. If you have one, great. If you don't, the ship keeps selling. This has been the quickest surging I've ever done in life. <laughs> but this is how the bottom of my skirt's tail came out. I love it, very clean and simple. Now it's time for more fun. I am aligning my fabric on those indicated lines I made on the skirt earlier on in this video for where I wanted my skirt slit to start and finish. Now I am taking pearl head 
sewing pens, and securing the fabric in place so that it doesn't move when I begin sewing. Now, I am placing my fabric around my sewing machine to begin sewing. Here are the results so far without the elastic being sewn onto the skirt. I absolutely love how this is coming out. It took me less than 30 minutes and this tutorial, I kid you not, is super beginner friendly. I know other tutorials are like, oh, this is beginner friendly. And in actuality, you're looking at the video like, oh my gosh, what's going on? What, is, what does that mean? What does she, listen. This is super beginner friendly. If you're looking for a quick how to sew a slip maxi skirt, this is the way to go. My waist is 25 inches, but because the elastic that I'm using is super stretchy, I'll only be cutting out 15 inches. I am now securing my elastic onto my fabric using my pearl head sewing pens. The stitch setting I'll be using to sew on my, my elastic is a zigzag stitch. When you're sewing elastic, you want to make sure you are pulling the elastic as you are sewing. If you do not, your fab not only will your elastic run out, you will not have a tight stretch. That wraps up my tutorial. For those of you who watched my video in full, thank you all so much. Your support is genuinely appreciated. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought about this tutorial or if you have any questions. Feel free to also comment video suggestions. I am open to hear everything. Until next time.